<laughs> okay, here we go. I got this. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I'm trying. I can't get the right pitch. <laughs> I can't make it any louder without changing the pitch. This is so hard. And by the way, if you're trying this at home, don't reference me. I'm not responsible. <laughs> like, try to protect yourself. Wear glasses or at least that something. Parental supervision. But don't try it alone. Come on. Oh, that was working. You can still hear it going when I do that. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm trying so hard. Did you hear that? It was doing something. I could feel it vibrating in my hand. It was vibrating in my hand a lot. All right, one, like okay, it. This is the last try, guys. Last try. Here we go. Hello, guys. My name is Sub Zero Extabyte, and today I am here with a good friend of mine. His name is Chip. Chip is a bit shy so he won't talk much but that is okay because today we got a lot of things to do. So let's get rolling. Alright so you saw what happened in the video right? Well we are going to try to make the opposite of with a soundproof booth. My man Chip is here for the backup because this job is going to be hard but that said let's get rolling. Cool then it won't be in the nether anymore so let's just hope that we don't make it too cool. But we could always start a fire somewhere. At least if that is safe that is. So, let's just hope that this house is going to be cool, but still cool enough to be in the nether. That is what we are aiming for right now. And until this point I really like what we have made, even though we haven't done anything really special so that is great. But anyways we are just going to finish this stone brick floor. And then I don't think it will be that warm when we walk over it with our bare feet, but we will see. I don't think stone attracts any heat only cold I think but like most other things I am not really that sure so let's just make it so that it is still nice but we are going to have it so that it is going to look absolutely stunning and that this floor is going to blend in really nice with the wall and that combo needs to blend in really nice with our furniture that we are going to start making right now but we are going to have this cool little window on top of our ceiling just because we can and then we can literally stare at the stars when we go to sleep and this black stained glass is blending in really nice with the darkness of the bedrock so this is already just perfect and it looks really dark out there but that might be that we are underneath the normal world but I am not sure anyways we have a really cool house already so that is just fantastic we are now just going to throw in some things that will make it way cozier and there is no other way to make houses cozy than the subway no not the subway as in the nice sandwiches and also not the subway where you can get on a train that is underneath the ground but the subway the way that sub zero x to bite does things so that is going to be amazing just to do this and this green is underneath the glass that looks over something really dark so the green is to just be the opposite of the dark and because green is my favorite color we chose green so that is just fantastic but all this light that looks really futuristic just asks for some kind of door or something i am not sure what it is about these weird looking futuristic lights but it is like they are screaming to have a door installed so we are going to do just that and we don't really have anywhere to go but people might think that i go outside sometimes if i have a door but actually we are just fooling them with this door so that is just great then they are going to think that I actually go outside and do things, but in reality I really don't do things I just play Minecraft and Roblox all day, well not all day because that is really bad for you and I can feel that, it is not good for me. But on my downtime when I am not supposed to do other stuff I prefer to spend my time with my computer and my Minecraft or my Roblox. So that is fantastic. But we now have a door then. And I am not really sure what I should do with our little garden, so let's just place some stone bricks and then we have a little patio or something. I am really not sure what the aim of that thing is, 
it doesn't even look that good but we need something I guess, so that is just something and that is enough to make it something, yeah that totally made sense sub, yeah, I know I am really unsure to what this is going to be, but all of a sudden I got a good idea and I am going to make it into some kind of staircase that is going to lead to the lava and stuff that is inside the nether, so I hope that I do it good and that I don't come out somewhere where I would need to dig really deep but I hope that I just find something and that I can just stop with the digging and stair placing so that I can just go outside enjoy my nether day and then just go back as easily as that and that I would not have to climb a ton of stairs that would not really be that much fun that is why we are making the house on the surface I think that underneath the bedrock would be more soundproof but we can go back now plus we are using bedrock up here so it will give the same effect well at least I am hoping it of course we are going to make it green in the inside because that is my favorite color but anything else I should add I have no idea let me think well no I guess that is it well of course the glass self that we are going to try to break with what sound I am wondering but this is pretty crazy I never knew that this happened but that is pretty cool and i don't think like all of you have known that this thing was here if like pigs fall down on the ground but it is pretty cool none of the less slash but if they fall on the glowstone then that is not really that great but we do need light down here otherwise we could not even see any pigs down here but if they don't fall on the soul sand then that is pretty disappointing but it is pretty cool though that they even fall but you can still kill them when they are on the glowstone and then you just push them with your sword onto the glowstone and they will like to do a very funny ragdoll movement which you don't see any day and it is pretty rad but like not all of these pigs want to go down all the way but that is okay though so I am amusing myself with pushing these pigs off. So that is the aim of the game and we need some more pigs down there so let's push a lot of these pigs down so they are all there and they are just piled up and the pile would become really high and then it is going to look really cool. And it would look like something straight out of a horror film just as that zombie that was hanging from the diving board which I see a lot of times when you are at the swimming pool and once I had seen one of those guys actually like fall down not from that high of a height but still quite high and he just fell on the side of the swimming pool and he was really hurt and all of his friends came to help out and it was really sad for that boy and that was just something he was doing for fun but now he actually fell down and he got hurt and by then it was not fun anymore the zombie is a bit like Michael Jackson or like moves like Jagger or something but he now fell down or did he yes he did he is just hanging there but he fell down so that is great for him we still have a lot of pigs up here that aren't allowed to be here but we are going to place them anyways so they will be our first test in our research to break the glass I have no idea if they can both maybe with the help of the sound booth they will manage it come on you pigs you can do this make me proud and yay if you can I will be very disappointed get ready for rumble guys things are going to heat up now I will make some light first for the pigs put the glass down and spawn them in and then it is just a matter of listening if we can hear a glassing breaking sound so that will be very easy I am hoping so that said after this experiment and people from sub squad it will be over everything will be done so the video will end well maybe not maybe there a surprise waiting for you I don't know if you are ready for that there will be a lot of surprised faces if there is going to be anything in the end I am hoping so how much pigs do we need is this enough I think it is pigs are very good for food I have no idea why I am using them here we could send them to a villager or the big city to get traded or something else but not in a booth like this that isn't alright after this is done I am going to move that to a forest or something to let them live there no way that they will stay in there forever no not possible wait it is time to listen and look if we can hear something hold up the only thing that I am hearing are the pigs the sound booth isn't helping that much I think darn it I was hoping so much for it now all my hopes are gone I am going to cry now like a little baby no I am kidding people I will find something else to make a better sound booth but till then I will need some time that is why I will end the video now and come back later bye All a big prank you guys pranksters I am so funny oh my god oh well then let's continue with our research and it is going extremely good well no it isn't nothing is breaking the glass whatever I place and it just doesn't do the job what else do I need to do guys I need some ideas well maybe if I place some creepers in it then everything will explode in the glass as well now that would be funny if everything would blow up but the glass would. 
survive I would be so mad and the glass would be haunted. Let's add some more sound shall we? I don't know how much we can fit in I am going to add everything ever human animal and mob there is in it well not the mobs they would just make everything more a chaos than that it is. So let's keep that out of it. You know what we could add in the sound booth a kangaroo yay that is right wait are there any kangaroos in Minecraft I have no idea maybe there are but we never found them but the a kangaroo well I think those things jump as they walk like they can't really walk all they do is just jump and leap forward and that is their walking but do as you like and kangaroos like jumping but whatever floats your boat or another cool saying is if the shoe fits wear it well in with kangaroos their shoes fit when they are jumping so hot darn fit the jumping shoe kangaroo hold up did I just rhyme once again Geez, I am feeling like a rapper but as you can see I pressed the third illusion button for today and let's reveal what this illusion is going to be well as you can see what you can see from somewhere else is that it is a cube once again yes it is a cube again but this cube is cooler than the other cube this cube is red with black lines and it is blended in the middle with red and it actually looks good so let's see what it looks like when we are going in for a closer look and yes this is going to be nice already I can just see it but by this time we are on top of this cube and as you can see quite some time went into this illusion and I have to give props to this illusion because it actually looks cool when you are on top of it and when you are on top of the button then it looks cool as well because when you are at the best viewing spot then it really looks like a cool cube but yeah as I said when you are on the cube itself then it looks good as well so that is something the other figures didn't have and the first figure was also a cube but that one was not the coolest cube from today this cube blew the other cube away but we are heading towards the button again and it takes quite some time but everything takes time in life sometimes time is good just like with healing progresses if you wait a long time with most things not like big diseases or something those actually get worse with time which is really unfair but with like a cold or a cut or something then if you just wait a week then it will be over just like this third illusion some things just get over but we just pick the third button again oh wait no my bad we took it again sorry we already had three buttons we need to pick the fourth one because that is a new one and the new illusion just needs to load in oh wait it is beneath my feet and holy cow this illusion is really cool it looks like a square pretzel or something that came straight up from mario kart well i don't know but i just know that i like this illusion the best well we only had four but this one is definitely my favorite maybe that will change with time but we are going to see this one looks really cool so that is really good. I don't actually know who made this but props to that guy. Well we are going in for a close look and it is actually really simple made. What the hell? I don't know how this can be. Like if you were up in the sky it looks like those things that are sticking out are overlapping the line that is in the middle. That is actually really weird. I did not expect to see that this illusion is like this when you walk on top of it. I am really amazed. Yeah, I am really freaking amazed. What is this? This is weird, but it is cool. Wait hold up this one is connected? What? I am now really confused to how this can look like a darn pretzel up in the sky. Well bit my apple and call me Sally. Well not an apple but the glass we need to destroy the glass guys. I can't handle it anymore. I am going crazy. I am going to lose my men. People break the glass now. I am going to spawn a nuke. Yay great idea a nuke that will blow up the whole world of Minecraft. I have no idea. Wait I know what to do. I just need to add more objects more things then it will just blow up. It will have to it needs to it is the destiny of the glass to blow up well not blow up but just break just break you darn glass oh lord why is this such a hard thing to do I have no idea I am about to break about to give up but I can I am not a quitter I will need to beat this thing I will break it let's use TNT well no then everything will blow up the whole sound booth will get destroyed darn it so much things that try to block my vision hold up I know what to do I can just break it myself right just punch it just break the glass alright never mind I give up so people it is getting time to end this video as you can see it didn't work or maybe it did maybe this was the plan all along I have no idea we will never know what I do know is that I will be back soon with more content more videos and big surprise well so for now prankster I will have to say goodbye but I will be back soon with another video so don't worry I like doing this people I will keep going so see you later bye